William Vaughn here with a quick introduction to version 3 of the Pushing Points Mop Booleans Kit for Moto. The Mop Booleans Kit is a Moto add-on designed to remove the challenges of working with complex Boolean operations with the non-destructive workflow that makes creating highly detailed meshes a trivial task. For those that have been using earlier versions of Mop Booleans, it's important to know that the original workflow is no longer available in version 3, but you can opt to use the older versions of the kit that are still available for download. Version 3 builds on the new workflow that provides the same power of mob booleans without the use of pi menus or keyboard shortcuts for the core actions of the kit. To install the kit, go to System Open User Folder. Then place the mob booleans directory in the root of the kits folder. Once in place, restart Moto to activate the kit. While it's not necessary, it's highly recommended that you reset preferences when installing updates to a kit. To reset preferences, simply navigate to System and choose Reset Preferences. You can access the Mop Booleans tool palette from the Mop Booleans popover form found in the kit's popover form, or using the keyboard shortcut Alt plus M. Another option is to add the Mop Booleans button to one of the workbenches for quick access as seen here. All of the options have tool tips that can be accessed by hovering over a button. Use these helpful hints as a reminder of what each option is used for and how to use them. To start creating, select an item and click the new Mop Boolean build button at the top of the form. In version 3, this can be a standard mesh item, an instance, as well as a procedural item, and unlike previous versions, this single option will work for any of these types of items. Once you've clicked on the Mop Boolean Build button, all the components to start building a Mop Boolean mesh item are created, and the selected mesh item is moved to the base driver hierarchy. Next, select another mesh item in the scene, followed by the base driver mesh. With the two meshes selected, click one of the Add to Driver options. You can add the selected mesh to the base driver, one of the four subtract drivers, one of the four intersect drivers, or one of the four union drivers. For this example, I'll choose the add to subtract driver option. All the meshes in the mob boolean build remain live, enabling you to continue editing them while seeing real-time feedback of the subtraction on the base mesh. You can disable the visibility for the driver meshes for a single mob boolean build by selecting any item within the build and clicking the toggle driver visibility button. When working in a scene with multiple mob boolean builds, you can use the toggle driver visibility all option to control the visibility of all driver meshes, or use the reset driver visibility option to enable visibility on all driver meshes. Version 3 includes several useful utilities worth exploring. The New Mesh Item option creates a new mesh item at the top of the item list and can be used to create new components for your build. The Create Merge Meshes Item option creates a new mop item using merge meshes with all the selected items as sources. This can include mop boolean builds as seen here. The Rename option enables you to quickly select and rename the mop boolean root group locator. To use, select any item within the mop build and run the command. Use the Build Update option to update older Mop Boolean builds. If you use the Toggle Mop Build block, the Mop Build Mesh Items lock attribute will be toggled on or off. Using the Freeze option, a new mesh will be created and the Mop Boolean build's visibility will be disabled. To use, select any item within the Mop Build and run the command. The Randomize Color option will change the color of the main Mop Boolean assembly in the item list. And you can use the Defer Mop Evaluation option to defer the evaluations of all Mop Boolean operations in the scene. This can be useful to speed up editing dense or complex mop boolean assets. The remove item option will relocate the selected mesh item outside of the mop boolean build, while the remove geo option will create a new mesh item outside of the mop boolean build and move the selected polygons to the newly created mesh item. The new instance source option enables you to select a new mesh item as the source of the selected instances. There are also several selection options included in the kit. The first row enables you to select any of the driver mesh items in a build. Right-clicking on any of these buttons will give you access to more selection options, including the ability to select all mesh items for the corresponding driver. You can select the mop build item easily by selecting any item within the mop boolean build and clicking the lower left button. Use the select driver material to select the material that is assigned to the driver meshes. This enables you to quickly edit the appearance of the driver meshes on a per mop build basis. A streamlined version of Mop Tubes has been added to version 3 of the kit, enabling you to quickly create tube geometry from selected curves. To use, select at least one curve and click Mop Tube Build. You can use the selection options to select either the curve, profile, or Mop Tube Build item. And to access the curve sweep properties, select any item within the Mop Tube Build and click the lower left button. The curve sweep properties will be displayed. 
Using the freeze option will generate a new mesh item with a raw polygonal tube and the mop tube builds visibility will be disabled. You can also use the toggle polygon type option to switch between face and sub D geometry. Experiment with these options to gain full control over this powerful workflow inside of Modo.